All right, scholars, how are we doing today? We are doing great. We are still talking about energy. Yes, energy. How do you do that? You throw it back and then you catch it right there. It's energy that allows me to take this basketball and to do all of the things that you see me doing with it. If you are a sports fanatic, then you absolutely love mechanical energy because it's mechanical energy that even allows any of this stuff to happen. When we're sitting here and we're getting with it, it's mechanical energy, scholars. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Energy is all around us. You have to have it. And it has many practical uses in our lives. We use them everywhere. So we talked about mechanical. We know that electrical energy is the energy of charged particles. Your cell phone only works because of electrical energy. Your laptop only works because of electrical energy. Most of the things that we use only work because of electrical energy. Even something as simple as a flashlight. A flashlight converts electrical energy, batteries, into light energy that we can see. And light is a really, really awesome energy. It's an energy that travels in waves. So when I turn this on and I see the light coming out of there, that's actually waves of light that are traveling. And there's some really cool things that we need to know about light. One, light travels in a straight line until something hits it, until it hits a medium. So light's gonna keep going forever and ever and ever in a straight line until it hits a medium. And we're gonna demonstrate that. We're going to prove that. We're going to show that to the world. Yes, we are. Light energy is a very, very important energy because light is the energy that allows us to see. Remember, if you're in a room and you turn off all the lights, what happens to your eyes? It's like, you're doing this. You're just moving around. You're trying to figure out, like, where am I? Where am I going? How am I, how am I gonna move? Because without light energy, we can see nothing. We have to have it. Light energy is really, really cool as well. Not only does light energy help us to see, but light energy, because of ways that it interacts with different mediums, it gives us the abilities to do all kinds of really cool stuff. For example, my glasses are only functional because of light energy. When I put them on, I can see better, I see worse. I see better, I see worse. I see better, I see worse. I see better, I see worse. How, why, and what does this have to do with light? Well, it's really, really cool, actually. My light, my glasses work very similar to a tool like this. This is called a hand lens. I actually have two of these, and that's gonna make it even cooler. So a hand lens is a medium, glass is a medium. And what happens is, is we have this light and it's traveling right now in straight lines until something takes it and it interacts with the medium. So light can either hit an object and bounce off, or there's some times where light can actually go through an object, just like with this hand lens. And when it goes through an object, there's times where the object will bend the direction of the light. It'll bend the direction of the light and we call that word refraction. Refraction is really, really cool. So these hand lenses actually refract light in a way where it makes small objects look larger, just like my glasses. My glasses do that very same thing. My glasses refract light so that my eyes can see smaller objects larger and clearer and easier to read because Mr. Washington is getting older. Yes, indeed, I'm getting older. Don't tell nobody else, absolutely nobody else. And we can prove that, right? So I can take these hand lenses and if I get right here in front of the camera and I put them in front of my eyes, we'll do one eye at a time. What do you notice happening? Oh, it is huge. Do you see the difference in my eye? Now, what if I do two of them? And I can go further, I can come closer. I can go further, I can go closer, and you can refract all kind of cool stuff. Like my nose is already big, but watch this. Oh, boop, ginormous nose, ginormous nose, ginormous nose, attention, refraction is happening. Lips, ears, I can refract everything. Oh my God, I look like Yoda from Star Wars. Look, the force is strong within you. Refraction is so cool and it's all possible because of the energy that we call light. Now, to recap, what is light? Light is an energy. It's an energy that travels in waves that we can see. Energy that travels in a straight line. Energy that is observable. It is an energy that, oh my God, there's so many different uses for life. We could even go into light science, I mean in the life science 
and 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 then just goes on and on and on and on and on. Light is the the, the speed of light. It's a measurement that we use. So we measure time and, and distance and speed using this measurement called the speed of light. Like light is so important. It's everywhere. But we're not going to get into all that in the elementary level. But what we are going to get into is we're going to understand what light is. We're going to understand that it operates in the same ways. So we can we can look at the patterns of light. And that's going to help us to understand how to use it. And we're going to understand how this is used in our everyday life. Because just like that mechanical energy with that basketball, just like the flashlight that you're very, very accustomed to seeing that uses light energy, energy is all around us. It can very patternize. And there's a lot that we can do whenever we figure out how to use these energies effectively, efficiently, and wisely. Scientists, y'all are amazing. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Here's what I want you thinking about today. Where would I be without light energy? Ooh, where would I be without light energy? I want you to respond to me. Where would I be without light energy? That's our thought for the day. That's what I want you to write about. Give me at least three sentences. Where would I be without light energy? I know where I would be. I would be looking crazy because I did not have my glasses. So I would probably be doing videos like this because I couldn't see very well. Have an absolutely wonderful day, scientists. We'll be back on with more soon amazing science. I still have not got my cape, so I'm just going to wave my arm as I say it. Amazing science. Y'all have a good one.